Alex said, customers have been snapping up used Teslas for a little over 20000 after applying a $4,000 federal tax credit. But what's unique about this $4,000 tax credit is you can use it for a down payment. I think the, the perception out there still is just, ah, it's expensive. It's a luxury item. It is a, it's a nice to have. It just it can't just fit in with what I do. But seeing people actually, hey, did you know these things are cheap now? Yeah. Yeah, that's, yeah, they are. If it's a standard range Tesla, it has a 100,000 mile battery warranty. And if it is a long range, it has 120,000. Overall for the whole industry, about a one and a half percent battery failure rate in EVs. And those are almost all under warranty, but Teslas have gotten theirs down to like one out of 200. Hi, I'm David with EV World News. And I'm joined today by Mike Herzog. How's it going today, Mike? Doing great, David. Working from home for the day and got my blurry background on. We've got no issue with that. So today we're going to cover a New York Times article. Electric cars are suddenly becoming affordable. Well, we were just talking about the Volvo EX30 coming for $35,000 for a U.S. EV SUV. That is a very affordable price range. They Right away, Alex Lawrence, he's Dr. Alex Lawrence. He's a professor at a university there in Salt Lake City, but he also owns EV Auto, which specializes in, they do sell plug-in hybrids, but for the most part, they just sell Teslas. Alex said, customers have been snapping up used Teslas for a little over 20,000 after applying a $4,000 federal tax credit. We're seeing young people, we're seeing blue collar, entry level white collar people, the purchase price of the car suddenly become in reach. He gets really nice. They have to have a no damage car fax. They're in pristine condition. He gets the recurrent battery testing done on them and it even has it on his site. So, oh, so you could like look it up and say, this is the battery status. This is how the battery is doing. What your actual range is now on the vehicle versus what it was new. And it, it, it expresses generally as a percentage. So it'll say anywhere from 92 to about 98%. They've all lost a little bit. I, I think I saw one that said 99 something like that, but it's pretty rare not to have lost something. But if they're going to be under $25,000, they're generally going to have at least 60,000 miles on them. Now, depending on the model, if it's a standard range Tesla, it has a 100,000 mile battery warranty. And if it is a long range, it has 120,000. Now, some of the other vehicles like the X and the S have 150,000 mile battery warranties and the Rivians have 175,000 mile battery warranties because people are always worried about these things going. And we, we reported a while back about how you have overall for the whole industry about a one and a half percent battery failure rate in EVs. And those are almost all under warranty. But Teslas have gotten theirs down to like one out of 200. That's nuts. That's amazing, right? That's why they keep, you know, have some long warranties on them is because they're really... I see people posting all the time, oh, the battery's only good for five years or whatever. And it's like, I don't know where you're getting that information. I, I think so many people are extending their experience with cell phones, you know, or just, hey, what else do I have that's a battery and it gets charged as well? I, the battery goes bad so fast. Well, I mean, Apple got caught intentionally making your phone degradate after two years. Degrade, yes. So you, they absolutely did. Yes. And so I think people see that as something in the EV space, and it's not quite the same. But what's unique about this $4,000 tax credit is you can use it for a down payment. It's on the spot. Yeah, it, it's cash, right? I mean, it's not on your taxes. It is, you can use it on the spot. And then you've got um, $7,500 on a new electric EV. But the challenge there on the new ones is the battery components have to be exact. And I was looking at Tesla and the Tesla site, certain models qualify for the 7,500. Some only qualify for 3,750 and then some don't qualify for any. And it has to do where the battery components are from. And that makes it a challenge. A lot of times, like I think on like the Model Y, you have to get the long range. Oh, in the very specific criteria. Yeah. Like the standard range ha has a different battery that's made and has Chinese components. And Tesla is the most vertically integrated of all car manufacturers. They make their own batteries in Nevada, but it's not enough to support all the cars that they manufacture. It, it's not. It's not. And we've seen, I, I see that in my industry a lot. The, uh, what is it, Build America, Buy America policies on all of these things coming through. And it is just, luckily for those, they have they have a pretty robust waiver 
<laughs> that you can put through to switch. I, I, I'd love to do this if I could, but I just can't get the material um, and it comes through. But yeah, I, I like seeing articles like this from the New York Times, from any major news source, because it's, if if you peel back the surface just a little bit, yeah, these, these are affordable. They are price competitive. They are lower cost um, in some cases for a new automobile when you're looking at it. And it's just, I, th I think the the perception out there still is just, uh, it's expensive. It's a luxury item. It is a, it's a nice to have. It just it can't just fit in with what I do, but seeing people actually, hey, did you know these things are cheap now? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, they are. Yeah. Well, a lot of the thing is the, the price of all cars went up astronomically during COVID and the EVs did as well. So it, it changed a couple things. For one, it made the cars more profitable for the dealers. So the dealers made more money because um, on the cars they were able to sell when they had when they had product to sell. But it, it artificial, so it grew their margins. And slowly, stuff has been coming back to earth. And it's been hard to comprehend because you have a couple of things going on. Car prices have declined. EV prices have declined. The cost to make EVs has gone down a lot. It, it's both as they, the manufacturers get better at mass production. And the fact that the batteries keep going down in price. I get people all the time, what well, batteries are going down in price? They're trying to tell me there's not enough lithium to make all the batteries. It's like, well, if there wasn't enough lithium, they wouldn't be going, they wouldn't have halved in price in the last two years. And so there there would be, because the shortage, there, it's not like the demand for EVs hasn't been going up. It's interesting, this article quote said, car makers from Tesla, Ford, GM, and Stellantis, which owns a Jeep, have announced plans for EVs that would sell new for as little as $25,000. And so... That and then when you start putting in, if the tax credits still exist, you know those are going to be some really inexpensive cars. And, and it's saying even if Republicans gain control of the White House and Congress and they follow through on promises to dismantle electric vehicle subsidies, they shouldn't be able to undo the market forces that are currently pushing down prices and EVs. So you know that that's good news for the market. Electric cars sales of which slowed are still averaging fifty five thousand in the United States. In April. So that means people are still buying more expensive EVs tend to. I mean, you look at a lot of the newer ones, I mean, like the Chevy Silverado is $95,000. The Hummer E, whatever it is, it's, you know, like $120,000. You've got a lot of them. You've got all the Mercedes ones are, and BMW ones are really expensive. So you've got a lot of high end ones. But you've got some cheaper ones. When you start dealing with the Hyundai Kona, the Ionics, Model 3, I, that's, you know, every, every chance I get, I tell people about that. It's like, just look at Hyundai, look at Kia, just pay attention, you know, not, not just for EVs, but those vehicles in general and, and where they're at from where they were 10, 15 years ago. Um, they're not the same. They're not the same brand anymore. They're not the same, not the same car it was. No. And uh, even, even in the gas cars, when you look at how nice, and you and I were talking before we went live about Hyundai and Kia got like a design team i think came i think no, not 100 percent. they came from audi they came from one of the german companies and all of a sudden cars look fantastic and it's really a different look they look far more european than they do like the korean cars did most people's perceptions that the korean cars are crap and that was my perception of them up until the last year or two the some of the newer models are beautiful now i look at like a byd or something like that it's like, that's what i expect that's why I'd expect a Kia to look like a Hyundai to look like and it's no, not anymore. Uh, they've they've really taken the look seriously, I would say. No, and that's one of my big complaints about EVs over the years is that anything that was designed to be efficient was also meant to be sold cheap and was meant to look cheap so that it wouldn't de detract from the companies from the car manufacturers higher margin products. And that's why when you get these companies now that are only making EVs, their cars look nice because they're all electric. They're not competing with some more expensive um, gas powered car. No, hundred percent. That, that was my, that was my rub with EVs for a long time. I just, I just want one that looks like a car um, <laughs> from a reputable manufacturer. Can it, it doesn't have to look like a spaceship or a big Tylenol or you know, whatever that thing BMW put out all those years ago, like, <laughs> oh my gosh, like all oh, the i3, the i3, that could it just look like a car that happens oh, to be right. like it, it does. 
the i3 really stands out i know people that have those and they really look different hi i'm david with ev world news if you like this video then please press the like button if you like the content and would like to see more videos on electric vehicles then please hit the subscribe button if you have some feedback for us please let us know in the comments have a great day